Hello, welcome to Marriage Be Hard Conversations. I am Melissa. I'm Kevin Fredericks. And we are here talking about the conversations surrounding marriage. Because the reality is sometimes, mar- oftentimes, oftentimes, marriage be hard. Yes. We're going through a series talking to some of our most inspirational, aspirational, favorite couples. And we're just talking about love, marriage, communication, into all the things, child, all of the things. So today we have one of our favorite couples with us, the Brown family. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hello there. Hello. And I will let Kevin introduce them. Tabitha Brown, author, host, Superstar, Target, dog mom, athlete, uh, <laughs> Very Chance good, Brown, husband, father, coach, athlete, I Jodeci know. fan. Hey. <laughs> this was a person that had that discussion that we started. Uh, that and, won. Yeah, he did. He did. I, I won. He did win. Uh, so today we're just going to be talking about life and love and marriage. If I'm correct. Chance and Tab, y'all had 19 years? 19 or 20? years. Yeah. 19 years? Married, so be, yep. It'd oh, be 19 20 years, years married. married in April and 25 together. 25 together in yep. April. And yep. Melissa and I are coming up on 19 next year. Mm-hmm. We you here to, to talk chase. about Marriage Be Hard yeah. conversations because our book is called Marriage Be Hard. Did you say these are Marriage Be Hard conversations? You said that? I did say okay. that. Podcast. September 9th. No, September is the ninth <laughs> month. September 13th of the ninth. September 913. September 13th is the month. Oh my god! <laughs> so with that being said, welcome to the show. Thank you guys for pulling up. Tab and Chance are very busy, so the fact that they made time in Thank their schedule, you. we do not take it lightly. We appreciate it. We try not to ask for too many favors, um, but we do that. We, we do that. We did that. We did that. You did that. <laughs> you, did so, that. you guys have a very public, public, public marriage uh, because of Tab's superstardom. It pulled Chance all up into the light. Y'all did Fridays with Tab and Chance. People was all up in your business. Certain people have spoken about it. Certain people have been responded to. We ain't got to go down there. I'm just saying. People know who y'all are. Uh My first question is, what is a misconception about your marriage that you think a lot of people may have or may have assumed or comments you may have seen that that is not true? Ooh. I think that that is perfect, right? Mm. That like, oh, it's... you know, they'd be like, ooh, uh, marriage goals or couples goals. Mm-hmm. I'm like, you sure? <laughs> 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 you, you know, can you imagine being, you know, 24 years old, mm-hmm. right? All the things you go through in your life of 24 years. Yeah, We've been doing that together for 24 years. Mm-hmm. So it has not been easy. It has definitely been uh, hard. Amazing times. Yeah. But it is not perfect, and it's yeah. you know we not always happy. Really? <laughs> y'all just post the videos when y'all be happy. <laughs> when you ain't happy, you know, the video it, don't go up. Listen, <laughs> when, when, when people be saying I'm not an athlete, <laughs> well, let that go. Man. <laughs> we ain't gonna talk about it. <laughs> I actually really love this answer. I think one of the the hardest things being a public figure on any platform but social media is that it really is a highlight reel Mm -hmm. it really is an opportunity to show the beautiful things about marriage Um, but I think sometimes people forget that just because that's what we're showing on social media it's very curated that doesn't mean it's not without the hard times right? Right. and I think it's important to present that balance sometimes I think even with our title marriage be hard sometimes you know people get um you know, it may feel a certain way because you're like, I, why y'all saying marriage be hard? It's giving marriage a bad rap. But it's like, but if you've been married. Marriage do be hard. Understand. Then you do understand That's right. that the reality is <clears throat> sometimes on occasion, plus also maybe a little bit, it be hard. <laughs> yes. yeah. And that's true of a lot of things. Yeah. Working out and w- jobs, parenting, like all the things that mean a lot to you are hard. It's just people, I think people think when you, we say that, like, oh, I'm not going to get married because it's hard, like, being single be hard too. Listen, right. Right. You know life what I mean? Whatever. Hard. Life, just wake life, up. Period. They want that rent yeah. on the first, no matter what your month was Two like. Two things. I got to make sure that I, I, I get this one out, though. I think it's important that we do what you're saying, that we edit it. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. I feel like we have a responsibility to make marriage look as best as we possibly can. Mm-hmm. Tell me more about um, this. Because. <clears throat> In all of the hard, mm-hmm. right? I still, you know, 
feel like the pros definitely outweigh the cons. Come on. Mm -hmm. um, the blessings <laughs> definitely outweigh, you know, the downfalls. Um, I can't imagine where I would be, you mm -hmm. know, if I wasn't married. Yeah. Um, it gave me structure. <clears throat> but I'm, I got off track. I wanted to go to this first No, point. no, no. <laughs> Wait, let's talk about wanted, this a little bit okay. more. I think this is a beautiful point as well because you can have both and. Yeah. You can have and celebrate marriage the way that our platform does, the way that your platform does, and still acknowledge the hard times without it being a deterrent from the institution of marriage. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of times what people expect or what people think is it has to be all roses, all, all butterflies, bliss. Yeah. all bliss, all rainbows, mm -hmm. or it can't be love. Right. And the reality is going through those hard times, sharing your vulnerabilities, being angry sometimes, and then working through those are opportunities to become much closer. When I think about um, the year, uh, I'm going to let you answer our question. But when I think about uh, the year 2020, I don't know how it was for y'all, but child, it was quite literally the most transformative year. I was just talking to somebody about this last night. Quarantine was hard. Okay. Quarantine was hard. <laughs> Quarantine was hard. But when I think about where we are two years later, I'm grateful <clears throat> that that year happened. During the time, I wasn't. I wasn't grateful. This is this is this is a hindsight looking back <laughs> that allows me to be grateful for the conversations that allowed me to be grateful for the rug being pulled from under us and us checking up under the mattress and seeing what was on under there mm -hmm. and sorting through it and organizing and coming out on the other side with a stronger foundation in our marriage, even after seven, sixteen years at that point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I think we might be one of the only couples. That we got closer during quarantine. It. it was the best time yeah. for us. Tell me why. It was, I think, we had spent so much time apart, mm -hmm. right? I was traveling a lot. He was working, you know, 10, 12 hours some days. Mm -hmm. uh, and we would only see each other for a little bit of time in the evenings, right? Uh, and weekends. And then we were, like, forced to be able to be there every day with each other. Yeah. And I liked it. Oh, I love this. Right? I realized, I, I was like... Dang, I, I miss my best friend, mm -hmm. right? I miss being able to like wake up with him because that was something else. We didn't get to wake up together for a very long time because Chance would always be gone at like five in the morning to go to work. Yeah. I'd be asleep, you know, until like seven to take the kids to school type of thing. Yeah. And it was like, dang, we get to wake up and look at each other more than Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. right, like right. it was a, it, it was like, it was new. It was mm -hmm. almost like, it, you know, with the exception of our kids, I love them. It was almost like uh, back in the day when it just used to be me and him waking up in the yeah. morning together. Yeah. Back, you know, when we had our little one bedroom. Right, yeah. right. Hey, I'm gonna so. be, I'm gonna be 100 with y'all. I was too afraid of dying. <laughs> and that too. <laughs> and, if, and because I was like, yo, we living in our last. Day. I'm being completely. I'm, hey, listen, I won't be with you. I don't want. <laughs> I don't want to be with these other people. So we ain't let nobody come in the house. So whatever, so whatever, I was, I would get irritated mm -hmm. about. I'd be like, man, this might. It ain't worth it. I, it ain't even worth it. We literally it. might be dead. In the, that yeah. perspective. I was, I, I, was that kind of, in the focus. I was that kind of afraid. Like I was really like one of those people yeah. that was like, no. Yeah, in the beginning, the first so, like six months, he was very afraid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was like, a hey, happy to be in the house. <laughs> Every day like, you woke up alive, you was like, like hey. woo, he's still alive. Right. I left that jar out. I'm sorry. I know you hate when I do that. But I'm <laughs> I love this so much. And listen, yeah, if, like, I, hey. if I cleared my throat, he'd be, he was like, what's wrong? What's Yo. going on? Do you that, need a quarantine? That'd be about the only time he was backing mm -hmm. up. He was like, you good, what's babe? What's going on? Why Where's you? your mask? You did a little. When I heard about throat. people divorcing and all of that stuff, doing all of that, I was, I mean, I understood it, mm -hmm. but it kind of made me think like, Oh, they must not have been afraid like me. Oh, hmm. They didn't mean it when they said, listen, if I'm going to spend my last days on this earth with somebody, I want it to be you. Like, I want to be. So perspective, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm yeah. looking at it like, hey, man, like, this ain't no big deal. None of this stuff is a big deal. Like, right. hey, you need a break? I'm going to go stand in the front yard for a while. <laughs> we went you know, running we can't go together. nowhere. Like, yeah, we in the go. front yard? Hey, we would hop in the car, like, literally. Take a little ride. I'd be like, I don't know where we're going, but get in the car. We're going on a car date. <laughs> wow. Just drive somewhere. I love this so back. much. Like, I mean, that was just my thinking, and I had never had the luxury of doing that before. Like, yeah. the, like simple. I would always, most of our arguments and stuff, though, came from stress. <laughs> us not being able to spend enough time together mm. or 
Pri- prior to the pandemic? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, you know, it's <clears> like, <throat> I'm real sensitive about stuff. Like, no, nah, I want your undivided attention. <laughs> yeah. Chance that, that oh, dad to get jealous of the kids. Like, like man, yeah, yeah, hey, these kids getting in the way of my I time. <laughs> Wait, can I, I share this story? I don't know that you said it on the podcast or if you said it behind the scenes. If we want me to edit out, we can. I won't say the names. But I remember Chance told the story, and it's actually something that sticks with me, that you you were at a celebrity's house doing whatever y'all was doing on a however often basis, and you and Tab had a show you would watch. True and blood. you had to, thank you. <laughs> and the celebrity was asking you to stay over, chill, do whatever, and you was like, nah. I got to go back. It's Sunday. It's Sunday. I got to go back to my wife. This is our thing. We have to go back in. Like, I have to go. Not that you have to, like, you're afraid or it's a checklist, something you have to do. It's I want to go back. Mm -hmm. And I want to spend this time with my wife watching this show. Mr. Celebrity, you're actually not that important to me. Mm -hmm. And I don't know that most people would have that perspective, but I think it is talking about, or, or I'm sorry, I think it. Um, speaks to kind of what you're getting at now. If you feel like your spouse is your best friend, those type of things are really e- de- easy decisions to make. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, Theory. we still got into it. You know, be things that happened while we was quarantining, but mm-hmm. not to the point of where it was like, man, you know, I hope we make it out of this. Thing, right? <laughs> you know? I was more so like, hey, look, Hey, we we making it out of here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We don't make it because I'm going to keep you locked up in this house and all these people with this... <laughs> COVID outside of the house and hey, but we making it up out of this. Yeah. I think a lot of people discovered during quarantine that they didn't know their spouse. Come on mm-hmm. and say the things. Uh, because like I said, we only had a couple hours a day with each other, mm-hmm. right? And most, you know, that, that was at night. <laughs> 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 and I, I like that part a lot, okay? <laughs> and that's my business, okay? <laughs> um, but, uh, but other than that, most people didn't have, you know, a lot of time together. Yeah. So then when they're forced to be in this space together, and we're talking about like people who say they just got married mm-hmm. or they've been married for like two or three years, but they both have been working like eight to fives or nine to yeah. fives. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, they go to bed at nine o'clock and you, yep. know, you got just dinner and, and like a little bit. a little bit of time. Dinner and a little bit. And you, it's you routine have. again. And then the weekend, oh, it's fun. Yeah. But if you force 24 hours, mm-hmm. that's when you get to know somebody. 100%. Yeah. And then you realize, even like you that come much. on and say the things <laughs> and so i think that's why a lot of uh, couples had you know strained during quarantine mm-hmm. and did not make it yes yeah. because yeah. they were discovering like oh i don't think i, I yeah. don't even know who you are i don't even know right you. and so during that time it was like dang i i, I know this man yeah mm-hmm. right i know what i like i know what i don't like and vice versa mm-hmm. like i know honey i know how to get on his nerves mm-hmm. you know <laughs> I, I know i can work his nerve but because I know that, let me work on that part of me since we got to be here mm-hmm. yeah. in this space together, right? Uh, but everybody didn't have that luxury. Right. Yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. I, Say I, your thought. Oh, yep. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I have to get this part out. Everybody got theirs. I got it. What I hate. Oh, here we, oh, go. Here we go. Yes. Is when people think that they're going to get the male version of Tab. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Boy, that's they the don't. That's a I'm misconception. Like, hey, they don't know. Yeah, they don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but it has been very clear. They don't know. I don't, this is all in Chance's head. No. Nah. Everybody knows they're not going <laughs> to yeah, get yeah, the yeah. male version yeah. of the tape. People be like, from the very beginning of watching, you know, Chance, and when I first started doing videos, you never saw Chance. Mm-hmm. You only heard his voice. And you were hear his voice say, man, why don't people looking in our house? We got them people looking in our house in our kitchen and stuff, man. I just got off work and you got these people. I won't make no money. He was like, we go again. And I was like, man, the Lord has told me to do this and I got to be obedient. Right. Yeah, well, he ain't tell me that you're going to have a... I mean, so by the time they saw him... Yeah, I hear nothing, man. Hey, listen. By the time I heard they him, saw I heard him... should have told him. both of us. I, he didn't told me, though, since then. When they oh, see yeah. Chance, yeah. Chance always, you know, is very stern in his face. Mm-hmm. Right? He he got, as you know, people like that resting. Thing. Yeah, yeah. And so people are like, man, he a, he he unhappy. They used yeah. to, I mean, they would be like, man, I'm her husband, husband, walk around smiling her husband like is that unhappy. Ball. I'm like, right. y'all don't even know this man, right? <laughs> right? And so as 
time slowly, you know, went went on, he would kind of get into videos. I think probably when the first check came, mm -hmm. he was like, "Wait a minute! So oh, this why the people looking at our house? Oh, it, yeah. it, it was like this. I get it. Uh, hey, how y'all doing? Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it was a little bit by a little bit, yeah. and then when the Fridays with Tam and Chance thing, that was an organic thing that just happened. We didn't plan that. Mm. It was just one day where people were like, how, "How did y'all get together? I was like, Baby, we should do a video to tell people how we, you know, Got our it. story. And then it was a Friday, and I was like, let's do it again. Mm -hmm. And I think somebody else even said, oh, I like the Fridays with having a chance. Mm -hmm. I was like, let's, bingo. Let's oh, you do. didn't even name it? No, it just, I, Choice, I named it after that. Came up with the Choice made song. the song. Really? Wow. On, like, on, literally on, on camera. Yeah. Choice wow. just like wrote it and everything. Oh, I love but it. <laughs> Even then, people would be like, "Her husband seems so unhappy." I'm like, "Do y'all know what my husband does for a living? He's a he has a very stressful job. Right. He also is not me. Right. We are opposites, which balances us out. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I'm a big personality. Yeah. I'm loud. I love and you know I laugh a lot. Chance, once he get to know you, he don't trust nobody. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Chance don't trust. Nobody <laughs> barely trust our kids. Okay, right. <laughs> like I ain't right. known them that long. I trust Listen. them to be who they are. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, so, it takes a lot for him to get comfortable. Yeah, uh, and I'm his best friend, so I'm I'm the person he trusts to to be safe in front of the right. kids. So, right, yeah. which I which I have no, you know what, in getting to know you too. <laughs> This is why I like y'all so much because Melissa is me. Oh Shana. man, we as were telling you were talking that. about that, yeah. I remember when Kev first started videos. I wasn't in the videos. Mm -mm. Yeah. He'd have to sneak to get me in, delete that. Man, yeah. she was feeling yeah. the same. I didn't sign no yeah. release. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I, yeah. I, I, and people I, don't like Melissa. She got her head up too all the time. Like hmm. she's observant. Oh You're yeah, I'm taking everything in. Everything yeah. is going. Everything. On. Oh, yeah, I yeah. noticed. I'd be like, Kev, you didn't see this, but da 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 da. Yeah, yeah. Oh! <laughs> Quick. Listen, Chance Quick. like, hey, you don't be paying attention. Yeah, that's, you ain't care. You ain't see them yeah, two people listen, right there. I'm, I'm just living like, in the Kev, world. That's exactly. Like, like, I don't yeah. have time to focus on them people. How did you not <laughs> see that? Y'all too busy smiling. Listen, yeah. Y'all need to check y'all blood. Listen, <laughs> for real. Y'all might have been separated. I'm talking about brother. more than Melissa's. I told them uh, when we was flying private and on the yacht. Tell us. I said, I said, Chance, you are more like Melissa than her siblings. Yeah. I know both her sisters, they are it's not. crazy. Y'all, y'all, I don't know nothing about that North Carolina, Ohio. <laughs> Something happened in that blood. Listen. Because Melissa don't trust nobody. She'd be like, hello. Uh -huh. hey, I, was, yeah. I was, I, you know, I'm a people watcher. I was watching Melissa and I Listen. felt calm. I was like, oh, Melissa got that part. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> like, when, we was on, when we was on the buses and stuff out yeah. there, when we was driving and stuff, I look back. Even when I was sick, doing, I was aware. <laughs> <laughs> you were sick. Even when I was sick. Yeah, no, nah, but I just want to because I, I do get a lot of people who I think tell say I'd be imagining, but you they just have this too. idea when they approach me that or if they hear me say something, right, that ain't tap of the brown light. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> you know, I got a few cuss words in my in my package. <laughs> you know what I mean? So if you hear me, they'd be like <laughs> Ch <laughs> Listen, did y'all see when Chance made a post uh, when he was at playing uh, basketball? Bruh. He had to make sure he let the people know it is Man, not Uncle Chance on the bruh. court. You know? They're coming to the court looking for Uncle Chance and Chance support. Chance trying to bust hugs. you up on yeah. the court. <laughs> Not, listen, man. I but that's what makes us us. That's yeah. Because we're yeah. two different people. Yeah. I mean, there was a chance taught me really how to cuss. Okay. Mm -hmm. he taught oh, you're going to put that on me. He taught me. <laughs> he taught me. Back in the day, couldn't nobody out cuss to him. Really? You won't go win the argument. <laughs> I, you taught me well. You came up on the chances to the list. Listen, yeah, he yeah. taught me well, and then I mastered it. I was an athlete in chess. <laughs> you want to fight? It. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ain't a I'm killer, but don't push me. Yeah. <laughs> Period. Period. But yeah. One thing okay. I want to talk about, we were talking about this a couple weeks ago. Uh, it's talking about transitions. Y'all daughter is just turned 21, yeah. right? And she is... Legally, an adult in every way, shape, or form. She could vote, marry, join the army, all that stuff. Rent a car from Enterprise. I think it's 25 everywhere. I thought it was 25. I'm with you. Yeah, 20, Enterprise, they're going to charge you, though. They're okay. going to let you get it. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, our children, just yesterday, actually, Isaiah's friend came over to shoot a video. And Melissa was like, what, what time did your dad drop him off? And the dad was like, dropping him off? He got a car. His friend drove up and parked the car. I was sure like, did. oh. 
He's your 16. friend is dri- he's 16, 16. <sighs> driving. Yeah. Early 16. <sighs> and I felt a way. I was like, hold up. Because yeah, I know when my friends got cars, we wasn't going to Bible study. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't carry me down at all. <laughs> my, my first yep. big sins is when my first friend had a car, I could do mm-hmm. some sin. I'm sorry, Mom, you thought I was at Now I group. could do some sin. <laughs> I could do some sin. So what is it like having a kid who is, you know, more and more less reliant and dependent on you um, four or five years ago, she was in high school. And y'all need to do everything. Now she is one foot out the door of the home. Like, talk to us about that because we're about to run up on that here two, three years. You sure you want to know? First of all, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> them high school years be hard. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Is that part? Oh, oh, Lord Jesus. We're we so that grateful hard. that we made it through. Right. Um, With the social stuff, mm-hmm. Choice was a late bloomer. Okay. She didn't have a lot of friends. Mm. Uh, she didn't get her license until she was 18. Mm. She didn't want them. We was like, girl, you 16. She was like, mm. was right. Kind of right. <laughs> you know, she's very laid back. Uh, and then we used to be like, you go, go on, you go. You ain't got no party to go mm-hmm. to. Where are your friends at? She'd be like, I don't have any. And, you know, she she would be in a room a lot, and we'd be like, man. But let me tell you something. Something happened about two, what, a year or two years ago. We barely see her. Mm. Oh, she be living her life. That girl. At first, I, she had earlier this year. She was like, "I'm gonna go and and get my own place. Like, I'm gonna buy a condo." And yeah. I was like, because she works and she makes good money. Yeah. And I was like, "Okay." <laughs> I had a whole meltdown. Mm. I was like, "Oh, well, I said, you know, we had talked about this. You don't have to leave till you, you know, really ready. Maybe 21. You know." Mm-hmm. She was like, "Well, mom, I'm gonna be 21 in August." You know. <laughs> And I was, I mean, I was having a hard time processing. Yeah. Chance was like, let me see what I'm going to do with her room. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, yeah, that's the balcony right there by the pool. I can I was like, hey. my baby. Yeah. And then she started going out more and more, and then she started staying out. Mm-hmm. And I was like, she was, I feel like she was preparing me for being gone. Mm-hmm. Uh, and now I kind of got peace with it. Really? Yeah, especially because my son is never going to leave. Right. <laughs> Yeah, he Quest never, gonna be up in that house. Yeah, Quest said forever he gonna stay with mom. <laughs> I get, I got mixed feelings about it. Uh, Choice had a rough, like high school years, as she said, right? Mm-hmm. So, a lot of my fears and anxieties I kind of had to deal with then, mm-hmm. and uh, so now, depending on, this is the scary part. Depending on the topic or the day of the week, my anxiety can kick in. Mm-hmm. I can I can be real confident in her and something. You know, I'll be watching. She ready? You know, mm-hmm. I'll be watching her and mm-hmm. like, okay, she ready to move out. Mm-hmm. She, she gonna be okay. And then she'll do something that makes me like, and I'm like, <laughs> you, you ain't ready. Like, you ain't, <laughs> nah, nah. So, and I I don't really feel like it's ever a point where you get completely comfortable with the idea of your kids growing up. Yeah, yeah. I'm constantly worrying about something. So I just said to myself, hey, look, I got to trust that we did something right. Right. Yeah. I'm going to try to control as much as I can. Um, and I've been telling my kids, look, you can't live with me forever, <laughs> but you can rely on me forever. I oh, love that. I like that chance. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you, that you is really good. Mm-hmm. So I, I, you know, I just want her to know, like, look, man, dad, if I'm in some trouble, Something happened. You can call me. You know, I'm not a bailout, but I'm still going to always be your daddy. But so, I got you. Um, yeah, yeah, I got yeah. you. Yeah, I like that. Answer. I think that's actually, you know, when you're training somebody, like when they, I was watching this video, this dude was teaching people how to do backflips. <laughs> and he was like, he had pillows and all this stuff, and they had a ball pit. And he was like, if you don't have that safety thing, people can't even, they can't mentally even try yeah, sure. because of the fear of getting hurt. And he was like, if you if they know you're just like have your hands on the outside mm-hmm. of them, even if they couldn't catch you, yeah. he was like, when you do that, they can flip and twist and do all that stuff. And I think as parents, like you said, Chance, all it is is going from like holding you to being like, all right, I'm right here. And then I'm, you know, I'm right, I got you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. And I think that you can't live with me forever, but you can rely on me forever. It's great. Because my parents, you know, my brother and sister, we all, if we, I know right now, I talked to Melissa about this, her parents too. If Kev on stage got canceled and you know the world hated him, I could be like, all right, Mary, <laughs> let me take that third bedroom. They <laughs> hate me down to the internet. Uh, yeah. My mom and dad, That's I got right. a couch to sleep yeah. on them. Right. And that yeah. allows you to take more risk because you know yeah. somebody got you. Melissa yeah. Mom, boy, she probably take me in for it. She take Melissa in. <laughs> sure enough. She love her some. My family the same way. My family yeah. called Melissa, talk to her. 
and never say hello to me. I was like, I was, we got the same last name. And they're like, listen, like, well, she got it too. <laughs> <laughs> Good parents is a great thing. Yeah, it right? is. And, and that was how I lived my life. I, I, I can't even imagine what my parents felt because I've always been this free spirit. Mm-hmm. I mean, I left home at 18 and went to, to Miami from North Carolina, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. My daddy took me to college down there. Then I called him, come get me, daddy. This ain't right. working out. I'm back in North Carolina. I'm going to California. Now I'm 19 going to California. <laughs> and they just let me go. Hey, yeah. And, and you're going with a dude. Yeah, I went first by mm-hmm. myself. And then Chance yeah. came and moved in with yeah. me. But at any time when things were wrong, I'd be like, oh, I'm going to call my daddy. I'm going to yeah. call yeah. my daddy. Until Chance one day said, you can't call your daddy no more. <laughs> I was like, why? Because my daddy said, if I need anything, I can call him. Look, I can rely on him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then Chance said, but then he won't trust me. That's right. Mm, that's true. That's good. So in, in, that's and true. when I say rely, I don't mean, that's why I said not to bail you out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So I might, you can rely on me to help you in your situation mm-hmm. that best benefits both of us. Right. Because what Tab was doing, it was I like, was being my daddy's hey, little girl. Right. Yeah. <laughs> daddy bail me out. Daddy. No, no, daddy. <laughs> We decided we coming home. Can you book these uh, flights, <laughs> or can you send this money? Chance was like, "Put that phone down. No, we gonna go no- work. Get this notebook. Yeah. This how much money yeah. we need. This how much we made. We make eleven dollars an hour. We're gonna save this up until mm-hmm. we. It, it's gonna take us this amount of months to get to this, and then we're gonna drive home mm-hmm. to North Carolina mm-hmm. from California. And I was like. We could still just call my dad. <laughs> like it just won't. Click. Why would I wait all the months in the calculations? <laughs> right, I was like, I know you don't get understand because you don't have a daddy. But <laughs> my daddy, like my daddy said, ain't no the way Tap <laughs> pronounced daddy ain't no A. D E H D D Y. That letter A ain't got nothing to do with it. No, I was noticing it too. My daddy, yeah, my daddy house. But for real, but that is what, you know, one of the things that I love about my husband Mm -hmm. is that he really taught me how to grow up a little bit. Yeah. But and not even just like grow up and then just rely on him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was like we can stand on our own tab. Like, you know, I I feel like I worked ever since I was probably eight years old. Mm -hmm. Uh, But really understanding, like doing things for myself. And then having a partner to do it with who encouraged me to do that. It's yeah. like, oh, you can do it. I was like, you're right. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, that we still pull out a notebook to right. this day. I love it. <laughs> it's a different amount of money. Yeah. But we still pull it out. But the process is the same. Listen, the process is the same. I don't trust nobody. But I like love that. it. You don't trust nobody. I love it. <laughs> That's interesting what you said about yeah. being ready. I think if we're just a final thing on kids. I remember when I went to college, I, I was as ready as I could be. But you can't be ready for something you've never done. Never done. Like, I remember my dad used to tell me all the time, you spend all that money on Jordan. One day you're going to find out anywhere. Like, man, I'm always going to be buying J's. Oh, you always. crazy. <laughs> well, when I tell you I had to pay rent, cable, lights, <laughs> and I'm looking at them Jordans matter. in the closet, my stomach growling, and the Jordans like, you can't eat these, can't eat patent leather. <laughs> nope. That was the first, I, it took until that moment where I was like, I can't, I can buy no J's all through college. Yeah. It was much easier when he was paying the other stuff because mm-hmm. all my money could go to Jordan than yeah. going out with Melissa. Understand when I had to pay better buy and buy. Boy. Buy and buy. <laughs> When we gave uh, Zay Zay some money, he had worked on a brand deal. Then Melissa, by the grace of God, paid him, and he wanted a throwback jersey. He said, hey, "Can y'all put your debit card in?" And I was like, mm, "You put your debit card in." He said, "This Ooh, physically hurt, hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> it physically, physically hurt, hurt me to put my own to debit swipe card. my debit card and buy this." <laughs> it was so easy to it's just easy have. To he was sending us links. Yeah, and that, that throwback jersey. Listen, yeah. them is the real price. And right. you gonna swipe I, your real yeah. debit card and throw you your see chest that account back. go down. <laughs> Now you're making you really different choices. Yep. Right. That's now, right. But now that listen, his, them jerseys be hung up clean, yeah, yeah. pressed. When they pay for themselves, Boy, yes, he, he ain't never took care of an article of clothing. Do, uh, mother, how do I wash this? <laughs> Turn it inside out, son. Yeah. Turn it inside out. <laughs> Turn it on cold. Don't dry it. Just hang it up. Listen. He'd be all for Ooh, it. Kids, First time boy. he ever read a label on a shirt. Man. Because now it means something to him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so Troy's about to start paying bills. She's about to move out into her own place this week, actually. Ooh. So, right. So I'm, I'm, I, I can't wait to go over there and see if this like, house I is clean. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, like, now that it's your space. <laughs> right. How you going to do it? It's going to hit different. Right. Because now, you know, she stopped doing the dishes. That would used to be her chore. And so the last couple months, it's kind of like she don't see the dishes. <laughs> I ain't really hear that much, so 
<laughs> yeah, but they I didn't still. Even see him. Hey, she, right. look, she look at it like usage. You know, yeah. you go through that phase. Right. Where you like, well, I ain't used I ain't it. Used it. Right. You don't understand. Ain't. You yeah. live here, though. Yeah, you live here. <laughs> For so free. All the time. But Y'all break. live here too. Y'all live here too. I don't understand. She has been telling her, you are a guest here. <laughs> at this point. I told at this her. Point, I said, when you leave, leave. I said, listen. <laughs> I, we went to her and was like, listen, you, you, make a, you, like, you make a lot of money. You live in your dream. Don't be in a hurry to leave. Mm-hmm. She's right. adamant. She want to leave. Okay. So, Tab, this would be a nice cigar <laughs> lounge. All right. Oh, <laughs> man, cigar I've been looking at the right hey, here. Her foot won't even be going yet. <laughs> I went back to her. She was like, Dad, you, you already think about it. I said, yeah. Now, no, you're always welcome. But when you come back, you're a guest. <laughs> you so the, the guest, guest, guest room, room down there. That's right. You're this a ain't guest. your room. Because this no ain't your room. room. Oh, I was like, Lord Jesus. God. But yeah. That's, a, that's adulting yeah. right there. Yeah, that's the, the reality of adulting. And we're talking about parenting. So parenting be hard. Yeah. But you also, how old is Quest? Ten. Ten. He just that, fifth grade today. Today. Last year. Oh, I saw the picture. He was cute yeah. too. He looked great. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. how? What's the difference between first of all a, a girl mm. and a boy? Mm. And there's a twelve year. I can't do math. Okay, there we go. Mm-hmm. I said twelve. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. Ten it's is right. an easy number of math. Yeah, it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> uh, First of all, of oh. course, they're completely different, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but they're different humans, mm-hmm. right? Uh, you can't parent them the same. Uh. Quest can't really do no wrong. <laughs> That's your baby boy. My son is innocent <laughs> in everything. Um, that boy is precious. Oh. He got a good spirit. And I ain't saying that because he mine. Right. I'm saying that because he is. Yeah. Correct. Uh, but no, seriously, he is completely different than Choice. They're, they're completely different. Choice was like a little angel when she was a little girl. Like when mm-hmm. she was a baby. Mm-hmm. I mean, she, Choice was like, she was funny and she was just lively and she would want to hug everybody. She was just full of love. When mm-hmm. Quest was little, he didn't want nothing to do with nobody, mm-hmm. right? And I was like, man, Quest is going to be a little different. And then somewhere, maybe about what, three or four, yeah, he just changed. Mm-hmm. I think I think my mother-in-law was keeping him from that, you know, from the first two years. <laughs> and you know, she don't fool with nobody. So I think he picked up on that and was like, we don't fool with you. <laughs> my, my nanny don't fool with you. I don't fool <laughs> with you. <laughs> but uh, but they're completely different. I realized, you know, with Choice, we were young, mm-hmm. and I didn't have a lot of the patience I have now, and right. understanding I have now, and life experience that yeah. I have now. Yeah. Now everything is a, a precious moment. Right. Right. Uh, As marriage got a little easier, Quest came about. Mm. So he had a completely different experience. He had a different. So Quest, I didn't mean to cut you off, but Quest has the blessing of marriage can always tap into hard. Mm -hmm. But in his, he's on the back nine, as I like to call it, Mm. where we have worked through a lot of the immaturity. Quest grew, I mean, choice was she in got, it. She grew she as tough, y'all were growing. Yeah. She got the tough yeah. part. So she got the tough part. Yeah. She, and, and and on top of that, the financial stress. Sure. All of those things that yeah. make marriage extremely hard. Yeah. Right? And you, you're still young and you're immature. Mm-hmm. You know, Quest came along when careers had been established. Yep. Right? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, he. so his upbringing is different. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How it's so easy for me to talk about this? Because my daughters have brought it to our attention. Yes. Mm. Like, hey, look. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. I Quest got that. it easy. He got it easy. <laughs> I used to get hands on right. that. Like, you know, like, <laughs> he growing up completely you know, like, different. He growing right. up completely different, and I had to really acknowledge it and, and That's true. not apologize. Sure. Because conditions change everything. Yeah. But it, by, it, didn't, it doesn't hurt anything to acknowledge it and be like, yeah, you're right. right. I was under, yeah, you're right. <laughs> You're completely right. It is quite literally, speaking of this, I went through, maybe around quarantine, I was like, dang, I think I want another baby. I don't. Oh, but it, but I kind of Monty do. done plugged that hole. Yeah, I think way. Monty did plug it. Yeah. Monty is like, you could hold me like a baby. I'll yeah, never get bigger did. than this. He did. <laughs> but I think that's the reason why I mm-hmm. want to do it again because when you are young, we were 23, 25, married at 20, I was 20, but turning 21, had Isaiah at 23, had Joe by 25. That's young. Yes. Mm-hmm. And when you are striving every day, stressed out about making ends meet, 
when you are speaking in tons going down the baby aisle because you need to make sure that your debit card swiping gets approved mm-hmm. for formula wipes, they set that price for whatever diapers, they want it to be bottles you know they lost their pacifier for the umpteenth time so mm-hmm. you got to buy a new one yeah. like all of those stressors i feel like i miss i miss um sitting in the precious moments yeah. yeah and so even when i think about like my nieces and you know i'm 39 now and i hold them and i'm i'm noticing everything yeah. i'm remembering oh i'm getting emotional thinking about it and i'm like i want to do it again that's why grandparents are grandparents yes right? that's why they are patient that's why they allow so Say many things. kids, you know the kids to get away with things that we didn't cuz they don't have all that stress they yeah. just get to enjoy Right. Well, that's, uh, that is probably the most clear reason. Because my yeah. grandma, I'll be like, do them how you did yeah, us. Listen. Yeah. She, like, this is my, she told me, she said, this yeah. is my third gen. I don't mm-hmm. have the energy to fuss. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I fussed with your mama. Then I had to go around and help raise y'all again. <laughs> yeah. I'm not finna fuss no more. Yeah, Let that tired. baby do what you want. I'm tired, tired of this. And they just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. Bring them over and here. Let me get some candy moment. and take them back. Yeah. I want so, that version of you. Yeah. I never got to see you <laughs> not. The kids get it. <laughs> well, listen, wait for when I have my grandkids, they going to yeah. buy my, the kids going to be like, first of all, that's you're not the person who raised me. Right. And I'm not. Because I don't have to be. I already right. plan on it. I, 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 literally, <laughs> I absolutely yeah. plan on that. Yeah. So it's almost like a redo with Quest. Yeah, yeah. That's it is. Sweet. It is. It's, yeah. a, it's a redo. And you got, with me, I know I have to, I acknowledge a lot of things that I did wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. So it's like, man, I know, I don't think that I did that right by choice or from the right place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And and I acknowledge it. Yeah. I'm not, so I'm not, I'm not going to do that with him. Yeah. I don't like the way that went. Right? But the other side of it is, what I'm learning is that there ain't really a right or wrong it's way true. because That's their right. personalities and the outcomes yeah. can't be determined. You know what I mean? It's like, yep. so I'll, I'll refrain from doing something and I'd be like, man, you still did the same dumb shit. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't even matter. Chance was doing parenting <laughs> trials. I was this way with you and you did it. Yep. I tried the other way and you still <laughs> did it. Yeah. Man, you so know. is it me or is it y'all? Yeah. Right, right. Which, which, which one well, is it? But I done learned, though, that, you know, it's just different personalities. Yeah, yeah. that's he's true. A, he's just a different, He God made him different. He's just different. He's very different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I also remember, you know, as a kid, thinking that my daddy was the most strict and mean. Mm-hmm. I remember having this moment of like, I ain't never gonna be this way when I have kids, Daddy. Mm. You you are mean, like you know, just like in my room in my journal. I ain't right. say that to my daddy. Right. Mm, uh, let's that's be right. clear. Yeah. This is all the stuff I wrote in yeah, my wrote journal. Down. You the meanest daddy, hoping he would read it mm-hmm. and have mercy on my soul. <laughs> but I used to, you know, think that he was so strict because he wouldn't let me do certain things, yeah. you know, uh, or the way he would discipline me, mm-hmm. and I would vow to never be that person. And there'd be moments when I'd be saying stuff, and when yeah, it fly listen. out of my mouth, I'd be like. If I don't sound I just like just like my daddy, Lord Jesus. Me too. It's crazy. We become our parents, but I Man. also know that there are certain things that my dad, uh, you know, that my daddy did and my mama did that I could never do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Uh, but that's a lot of their ways that we do have. Listen. Absolutely. I was telling yeah. Melissa, some, and it's not even all the bad qualities of yeah. them. Some of the things are just my mom used to always wake up and open the blinds. Once the sun was out, she opened the blinds. Yeah. And I found myself, when I got my place, I was like, and I didn't even think about it. And I was like, this is because she do that. Melissa that would life. be in hotels. And then when it's bedtime, I'd be like, all right, I need to take a nap yeah. before the show. I need to feel like a vampire. But other than that, I want, yeah. I want to see the light. You know yeah. what I mean? It was funny. Melissa was, um, she had, I think we, do we talk about this? I think we talked about this. We was, she was cleaning up the pantry. She's like, we have, we're gonna have to have a meeting about this, I sure oh, did. about this pantry, because I, sure I am tired. Of, and I've been in Melissa's house yeah. when her mom was like, I mean, almost verbatim, we gonna have a family meeting about this because I ain't the only one that's cleaning and stuff. And I was like, dang, this is the second coming to Mary Marshall. Yeah, and then she'll that. call her sisters and they'd be like, you ever wake up fussing on Saturday? I was like, that's mama. That's mama in us. And I'd be like, now your mom was tripping. You I don't do it as bad as them. Hush, just hush. See? She do, though. Now it's lying. Y'all used to uh, do Saturday morning cleanup. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. That's why too. we know Anita Baker and Cab don't. I knew it. Yeah. I knew you. If you going to walk me to the river, we going to drink. <laughs> 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 we was listening it. to gospel because we were saved. Y'all, See? y'all didn't know. I told you Anita Baker is uh, gospel adjacent. <laughs> <laughs> y'all was going to the military churches. Y'all didn't know him like we did. We was going to the military, military church. church. You got to be out in 45 minutes. We Showed just getting started. All the minutes. churches. I all the... the house get clean different on gospel music. Mm. 
It do, because God tell you, hurry up. Oh, it be, <laughs> it be speaking span. It be speaking span. It be speaking Clearly span. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Show that. Oh, I love it. I okay, love one it. of the things you guys talked about, which might be a piece of advice that you guys have mentioned over and over and over again as almost a theme that I'm hearing, is you guys are best friends. Mm -hmm. mm. Walk us through how to maintain a friendship or things that you guys do to maintain a friendship in a marriage that is filled with entrepreneurship, parenting, careers, dreams, jobs, stressful jobs, like all of these things that you guys have going on and being able to maintain a friendship that is also defined by being best friends. Thank I you. think for I, me, I pick up themes, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know about chance, but for me is when we take all of that out. Very good answer. Uh, my favorite times is when we be like, let's go eat breakfast and, and you know, we go to a little breakfast place mm -hmm. or we go to the spa together or, you know, we just do us and we don't worry about work. We don't worry about the kids. Yeah, It's just us. And we dream and talk about old times or things we want to do. Um, and we just be just me and him. Mm -hmm. So I think just taking ourselves out of everything else because mm -hmm. everything else can get crowded. So that you ain't I am Tabitha Brown at lunch and Team Chance basketball. Y'all just, just literally chance. in Tab and Chance. The yeah, friends from yeah, like nah. I get very <laughs> irritated with all that. Do you? Like yeah, 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 I, yeah. When I'm with my wife, I want to be with my wife. Right, like, right. Like, like listen, she when she told you earlier about me and the kids, I'm mm -hmm. like, hey, not. Nah, I ain't saying nothing about the kids. I said you. <laughs> He just want his time. I, I, I said I want you to go. Uh, so funny. Like, like, I'm like, unapologetic we're going, about it. going out to dinner. You want the kids come? Did I ask if the kids was coming? I said, <laughs> Did I say a family dinner? And yeah. you. Or did I say me and you? That stuff is important, man. Like, I'll tell her. I'll get bent out of shape and be like, hey, look, I want to just do this simple thing with you. <laughs> and we're going to do it. Yeah. All right. I don't need but two hours. That's it. This is what we're going to do. I want to no, I want to talk about that. I, I hit her with you know. I'm just I'm. It's real. It to me, it's real easy, Melissa. To answer your question, it's like just be honest. Yeah. Like sound like y'all prioritize it. Yeah. And yeah. people people like to so when I in, in past conversations, that's like that's vulnerability. I was just about to say that, but clearly yeah. you don't think so. I, Chances vulnerability is. come across as girl spend this time with me for these two hours and nobody else. I love you. Let's go. So to me, that's honesty. Be I learned that that is. I learned that you know the, the, the better word is vulnerability. And yeah, like, you know that's a, that's a word that people like to use. But to me, it's just like, hey, this ain't algebra. Right. <laughs> I've been the same person. You've been dealing with me literally since the eighth grade. So right. I, I mean, people change, and I have changed. Yeah. You know, I ain't gonna you know be one of those that say you know that people don't change and all, but. I ain't changed that much. Right. Hello. It's like, yo, look, this is what it is. You know He's how very I get. clear. You know, I want to, I want to hang out with you. I love the kids. <laughs> I love the kids. I love the but kids. They, you but said they like they wouldn't be y'all kids. Cause they gonna move like out soon. Now I gotta make sure I'm with you. And Listen. I'm cool. And if my, and if something come up that you know, I, we, if we gotta have a serious conversation, we gotta have a serious conversation, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? If we, but most times, when I'm wanting to hang out with my wife, I'm wanting to hang out with her. So we can talk about something that was exciting, yeah. something happy, yeah. something what what will get me in a in a in a bad space, and is if that little bit of time that I've carved out or I see on her calendar or in between the kids or, and then when I get her, it's the unload, mm. Mm. right? I'm like, all right, all right, cool. Now. Yeah, I'm here to, I'm here to that's that James Baldwin. I don't know the lady's quote. The uh, lie to me. Lie to me. I did. I thought about it too. You go I'm over there. there. I'm here for that. Yeah. I'm here for all of that because she works hard. Yeah. yeah. You got, you know, we got a different life now as a result <laughs> of that. But when it's like, hey, listen. All right, now for a month now. Right. When I see you, <laughs> it's stressful talk. Now I need to laugh a little bit. We need to. We need to <laughs> and I tell her, like, yo, look, it's now. stressful talk. Every time I see you now, it's something. It's a tad bit of ha 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 and a whole lot of <laughs> they stressing me out. And I'm like, hey, look, I'll stop everything. You keep at this moment. It's Listen. Like, hey, we'll stop everything. Melissa Frederick. <laughs> Let me tell you what I'll do. I'll uh, go back to work. Hey. hey you y'all yo, ain't finna lose. I don't have to have none of this. Mm, I ain't been working my whole right. I've been working my whole life. That's right. I'll yeah. go sign and clock in at nine o'clock and get off at yeah. five. And don't <laughs> email me on the weekends. Low key should be missing that yeah. in, by itself. And usually when I do that, it's like, hey, look, she'll kind of, she know me. Yeah. You know, like, you know Kev, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So she'll, 
carve out that time and we'll laugh a little bit. And I'm cool. Right. We sit on the couch, watch a show or something. Then I'm like, all right, baby, you need me to do anything? <laughs> right. <laughs> then he done with me. You need me to go. All right. You need, you need good. me to go. Good. I, you need me to Is go quality time your uh, love language? Yeah, I guess. He physical touch. Like, and physical I need, touch. Yeah, I need to. I just, I don't know. I just need to tap back in. My right. foundation is me and her. Yes. Yeah. So when she was telling you earlier about, I, that's that was foundation that was being built. When right. I'm telling you, don't call your pops for everything. We can do it. Let's get the notebook, all of that. And that's the foundation of this house. Mm -hmm. Right? So that's what we built. That's what that's stability for me. So when we're doing anything else, chaotic and all that other stuff, I just need to know, hey, look, hold up. <laughs> Bring it. Let's, kids wasn't in that foundation. Get them out. Come back to center. Come back. <laughs> yeah. Get everybody out. Before hey. they look. Uh, what is it? Not BC, but BK. <laughs> or it could be BC before children. Give me a few. Yeah. Just, I don't need a whole lot. Yeah. We, when we hit the notebook, we like, hey, listen. The notebook represents dreams. So we mm -hmm. had a notebook. Mm. The, the notebook was stability in our finances. Mm -hmm. And w before visual boards, this was our notebook served as that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. when we're referring to a notebook, that's what we're talking about. The notebook was. Did it have years of stuff in there, or was it a new notebook every time? It was not. Nah, it was just. It was one notebook. We had one back in the day that we used all, all the, the time. time. I wish we had that one. Yeah, that's. We I still have. We we have our most. I still have the most recent one from like, twenty seventeen. Yeah. Um, that notebook yeah. would lead to us sitting and laughing, mm -hmm. or like feeling like we accomplished something. Yeah, because you go back and be like, to, look what we, look yeah. what we did it. Yeah. You know? And then we yeah. would sit there and talk about all these things that are coming to pass right now. Well, right, so, mm -hmm. but if you don't get to carve out that couple of minutes, if I can't get you to come back and recognize where the foundation is, and that's me and you, that's when I have a problem. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to always try to get to that, yeah. right? When my anxiety gets high, I'm like, hey, 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 I need it. We got to, I need you. Come here. Hey, right. hold it. And these days, because this is all new territory, mm -hmm. right? It's like up and down, yeah. up and down. New, it's it's new ground. So it's familiar for her, but for me, it's not. So I'm like, hey, 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 <laughs> come here real quick. I just need a second. Is Look at me in the eyes. <laughs> right, literally, literally we good. First. Okay. <laughs> right. Like I, I believe in when they say, you know, if if we gonna believe the word, right? But I really believe that. It's God, and then my husband mm -hmm. is first. Mm -hmm. Then them kids, yep. and everything else is after that. Yep. Right? Like I literally, it's it's always him first. Mm -hmm. Like before I would like take a job or scheduling, I gotta check with him. Like th 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 these are the days that we're looking at. Mm -hmm. Like I just always make sure we're good first, right? And that's how it stays good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So but I'm yep. curious about something because you guys have been together so long. I have this philosophy or thought process. Melissa and I talk about this often because we're 20, uh, 22 years together mm -hmm. and 19 married, or 18, 18. married. Um, and y'all met, and y'all knew each other and we been together, together for a long time. Yeah, mm -hmm. grew up together, literally. Has, ha, I, I, let me preface my thought. I feel like people always think high school sweethearts have it easy because you've known each other for a long time. And I do agree there's to, to some of that. But I think that the difficult part of that is every version of you, that person has to love. Whereas if you meet at 30, 35, right. you've been through a couple <laughs> versions of yourself. You maybe were crazy, you wild uh -huh. out or career, whatever. Mm -hmm. Y'all have been through literally every, um, I mean, before you even adults, every version of yourself. Would you say that it's been easy, hard, or what, what was that process like of knowing each other through every iteration through your sickness through your job stress and now to this point which has all this great stuff but also some negative stuff too i i think that it's good and it was good and it was tough mm -hmm. right uh it was tough because we didn't know who we were yeah right we were trying to figure out who we were we i was a girl trying to become a lady a lady trying to become a woman yeah right he was a boy trying to become a, a young man a young mm -hmm. man trying to become a man right. right and we went through all of that together and still right mm -hmm. i'm still a woman who's still evolving sure. right. i'm still a man sure. who's still going to evolve and change sure. um we tell our kids this all the time we got married very young mm -hmm. so you don't have to right Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. We're telling you, I like that. You, you don't have to mm -hmm. I don't go live your life. life. 
person. Yeah. Get to know who you are mm-hmm. so that when you find your mate, you won't just accept anything, right? Because mm-hmm. you don't know who you are. You allow them to shape you. You got to shape yourself. Yeah. Because uh, for a long time, I feel like I didn't know who I was. I was trying to be who I thought he he needed mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or who he wanted me to be in, in times. And that you lose yourself that way. Right. And I think that was like probably mm-hmm. some of our worst arguments. It was because I would feel like this ain't really who I am. Mm-hmm. And now I'm angry about it. Mm-hmm. And I don't even know how to express that. Mm-hmm. So now we having a whole argument right. about something that really ain't what the argument is about. Sure. Yeah. It's because I have accepted it sure. for so long. Yep. Because I didn't know that I didn't like that. Mm-hmm. Right. right. Or I started something. I remember my mama told me when we, get, we first got married, we first moved start in together. something if you can't keep it My up. mama said, listen, That's real. don't start nothing that you don't want to maintain. Right. 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 She said, I'm telling you. She said, you start cooking every night, you got to maintain it. Mm. She said, don't start anything you don't want to maintain. And I was like, shut up, girl. You don't know nothing. You don't know nothing. Her and my daddy was together for 25 years before they divorced. Mm. And so I was like, clearly you didn't. You, you know, in my mind, clearly y'all didn't know. But boy, that woman was right. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, because there's certain things that I still enjoy doing. But there's been times where I feel like, he expect this now because I've done it for so long. Right. I don't like that he expect it. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Even though I enjoy doing it. Now I got an attitude about it. <laughs> yeah. And, and he you, ain't and even did this, nothing. And I ain't even did nothing. All <laughs> this is in her mind. This is in my yeah. mind. Right. right? I like, just show up because it's been happening. <laughs> I have All right, let me cooked. get over here. Right. We've been together for 24 years. And for the at least 23 of them, I've always cooked. Mm. And for at least 20, I'll say 22 of them because this last year been a little different. I've always made Chance's plate. Mm. Like, he's never made his own plate. I always make it and serve him. Always. Wow. Hey, to the point where if I go to try to make it, I'm like, there's a problem. Like, really? Right. Yeah. So then That's about a, maybe like a year or so, I was like, you can't make your own plate? Yeah. <laughs> So, Chance was, why hey, am I mad about it? Hey, hey, Are you well, expect look, me to Did we have a conversation hey, about this? I've been going on for 24 years. <laughs> and for 24 years, Kev, if I dared to try to go in her kitchen <laughs> right. to make it, what you doing? Right. I'm just, baby, you, I, I get it. But I'm going to tell so you. So you've been in mine. <laughs> but now Tap done had a. But no, I think. <laughs> I think what happened was one day he was just like, I don't, I don't even know. Choice might have brought it to my attention because Choice is a oh, she's feminist. Mod- yeah, she's yeah. modern day. She's modern day. And I feel like one day, and yeah, she could have like she could have even been joking. I don't even know. But she did not. It just hit a chord. She's, yeah. I was making making his play, and he was in there. And, and like he always is, like laying on the couch looking at TV. And so I'm making this play. And she was like, what you doing making dad's plate while he look at TV? <laughs> See, <laughs> why you had to say I was that? like, yeah. and nobody, the energy <laughs> was off. Said, I said, wait, what? She was like, you stuck well, I mean, is that in them? there looking at TV? I was yeah. like, uh, 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 uh. I ain't did nothing. <laughs> she should move out. She don't know <laughs> <nothing> about <laughs> She don't know nothing about the all. 24 years of the not, not my daughter coming I in said, being the drama. I was like, yeah. She was like, oh, well, let me taste it. Mm, okay, I'm like, I was like, what? I don't it's know how to process of the that. Shame. That's like, hilarious. But Joyce is such. I mean, her and Chance can have knock down, drag out. Mm-hmm. She is such a like pro woman. Like, yeah. you better not ask me to do nothing I don't want to do. Don't ask me to wear a bra <laughs> if I don't want to. Yeah. I'm a woman and I can do whatever I want to. Like, that's her. And so, I just remember thinking, like, I walked in there, I was like, he was like. Like I had a whole attitude. Chance don't even know why I'm mad. He was like, uh, I was like, you gonna sit on the couch and eat, or you gonna sit at the table? He was like, I'm gonna sit at the table. I don't, I don't know the right he answer. Why am I in trouble? Who's gonna do like something? Me to him? Like, I love oh, I'm it. just gonna. I, can you make my plate? He was like. <laughs> I Wait, now I, you got to make your plate? Hey, I, I, I ain't had no utensils. You ain't never made my plate. Like, in my mind, I'm I, thinking, I, I you said, never like, made hey, my plate. I'm like, hey, babe. <laughs> hey, I ain't get no utensils. You can't get your own food? <laughs> like, I mean, like, I've been doing it in my mind 23 years. <laughs> I've been making these plates for you. You ain't even, you don't even care. 
<laughs> I asked you to give me a cup of water, and it's an attitude. <laughs> oh, my God. So I start playing all these yep. different things in my head that don't even exist. Yes. Yep. Yes, I I've done this stuff. spiral. Oh, I've done this Man. spiral. I'm telling you. So nigga. you don't want. I gotta make your play. You can't make your play. You don't respect me. I'm, Have you ever make my play? Why you don't never cook? See? And when do you? You ever were cheating on me. <laughs> That's half thing? the problem. I do this for you out of the goodness of my heart. Do you even say thank you? Do you even appreciate it? Yeah. 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 Chance, right, no. Chance, oh, like, I'm, not even, I'm not even hungry no more. Hey, I'm like. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm on the eat. <laughs> what? What's going? What's the play? I don't. It's I don't okay. I'm not know. hungry. I don't even. I don't even remember what the question was and why oh, I even got to. Oh, it was hard, to, oh, it was hard over yeah. the years. Oh me, yeah. I, I, oh, yeah. I, I, I tell people because uh, a lot of young men, when they find out how long we've been together, they ask me on the side. <laughs> you know, they want to be mm-hmm. like, man, you know. And I tell them, like, man, it's the hardest thing I ever did. This yeah, marriage and getting married at a young age. This is the hardest thing that I've ever done, but I always follow up with is the most rewarding thing. Yeah. Um, but I'm not gonna lie. This has been even outside of putting on a police uniform and <laughs> knocking on doors and dealing with other people's problems. I can't really say it was because we got married so young, going back to your question. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think it, pl- you know, because a lot of immaturity, yep. a lot of a lot of uh, unrealistic expectations. Shana. No, looking for a definition of what marriage is. Yeah. Um, While simultaneously issues. finding the definition of what it means to be a man yeah, and yes. what it means to yep. be a woman, growing and you know all of that stuff. And your own and definition. Then and your own. And then just, and then the just regular life yeah. stress. Yeah. And yeah. then people, you know. Not making, that's just why I feel responsible for, uh, I think it's on us to make marriage look sexy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. And when we first got married, it didn't. Mm-hmm. It's like not a lot of people for us to look at and be <laughs> like, hey, nowadays we got all these podcasts with people yeah. being, mm-hmm. you know, right. vocal and, you know, you got people. Black you know, love. Yeah, yeah, you got all yeah. these these different, you know, things to look at. Um, but, you know, back then it was kind of like, who we who we gonna look at? Yeah, right. Your aunts and, and who, uncles or your and grandparents. And the people who, and they were who appeared to be, <laughs> yeah, anybody who appeared to be success was success was uh kind of uh defined by longevity, right? right. And I ain't like the way they longevity look. Come no. on, oh. say the y'all thing. are just together. Y'all do not look happy y'all though. Y'all sleep like in each different other. rooms, man. Yeah. Like y'all don't. I, I don't That's even so see real. y'all. Yeah. The only time you laugh and smile is when she ain't around or he ain't man. around. Like in the minute that you get away from your partner, yep. it's like, well, you know how she you know she doing this or you know he don't like. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't like the way marriage look like this. Yeah. That's so, so true. It, would, it is, the, I always tell people the truth. It was, it's the hardest thing that I've ever done, but it's the, been the most rewarding thing in, in all of those things that I was looking for. Right. And who I am as a man, who I am as a father, even who I am as a son mm-hmm. to my mom, right? So who it's, it, it has helped sure. in all of those things in my career. Yeah. And, you know, even when, I, when I'm walking into other places and I feel um, unsure. Yeah. It's my marriage it's my marriage yep. and what we have went through and endured where I find my strength. Yep. Not not a college background, not a piece of paper, not Yeah. Not nothing else. It's my marriage to where I found my security, where I find my I remember and my or my why. Right. right? Something that I'm like, man, I don't know how my wife I, I run it by her. Mm-hmm. Man. And she'll bring me back up. Mm-hmm. Or she'll remind me of something or or She'll piss me off. <laughs> It'll be something that, because but it's still motivation. All of those possibilities are it's on the a table. lot of things. All can be true. All, all can, can be, be true. true. <laughs> Two things can be true now. <laughs> it, because people thinking it's always this. I, I'm glad I got to that point because yes. they think it's always this dramatic love scene. I'm on the phone. No, it, it could be some times where I'll call Tab and be like, well, and she'll give me some snappy response. It won't be the loving. She's tired of telling me the same thing over and over. <laughs> or she'll give me a, one of them. A it's hard truth. A harsh truth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or I know this one. This one is gonna really go. That I told you so. That you didn't need to hear. Listen to me. 
And that's that thing will motivate without saying you. I told you. Oh, so. Without saying I told even you. Worse. So. <laughs> so, but it still somehow went right. from your mind to my mind. We mm-hmm. both know you said it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know what you. Said. And you get out of that car or you get off that phone, and it's a different kind of motivation. <laughs> but you cannot deny where the credit goes to, right? right? So <laughs> I'm always honest about it, and I feel like again, it's the hardest thing I've ever done. Yeah, but the most rewarding. Yeah. Love it. And I like that you said it's our responsibility to mm-hmm. make marriage sexy, right? And in making it sexy, it's our responsibility to tell the truth. Tell the truth. Right. Right. Uh, yeah. And that truth is that marriage be hard. And I think that's the whole point <laughs> of the book. Yeah. It is we want the longevity, but with joy. Because yeah. yeah. we refuse to be just together, just sitting up at each other's face, yeah. having a fences type marriage. I'm not finna do that for 30, 40 years. Nice. That's why that 2020 was so impactful, because we was like, it's like when you break your leg. Mm-hmm. Listen, sometimes they got to break your leg again yes. just so it can heal for properly, sure. mm-hmm. right? And I think that for that for us, that year was like, are we going to have a long marriage? Mm-hmm. That's great. Or are we just going to have a long marriage? Yeah. But that could be long-suffering. Mm-hmm. And we don't want to be long-suffering. So I think the, the whole point of the book is to guide you, prepare you if you're not married, or help guide you if you are married on how to navigate this stuff. Not to sugarcoat it, but also not to make it look bad. Because Melissa, I enjoy her presence. I enjoy being with her. We worked out for the first time together. Let me tell you what, Chance. I ain't never worked out that hard in my life. Because so I ain't finna be shaking in front of her. So she looked away. I, I said, Because <laughs> you know your girl. You hooping when your girl in the stand. You, you block a shot. You here. You know what I'm saying? You ain't trying to get crossed up. And sh- we literally <laughs> on our way here. Chance yeah. is saying how he do- does not perform well playing basketball when I'm in the court. Because you, when you I, when forcing I'm there, it. Hey, I'm you out there like, nah, I'm not, nah, nah. I'm not going to look bad in front of my wife. <laughs> Got no, me when I tell you, because Chance, I was I'm such an all star athlete. <laughs> no, no, no. I understand this. Yeah, I understand it. I understand it. Bro, that sounds correct to me. <laughs> I had my best basketball game in my career in front of Melissa. I'm talking about a triple double. I threw somebody shot out of bounds. I was hitting three. I wasn't even a three point shooter like that. I'm hitting threes. I'm like, this is amazing. <laughs> she was right in the stand, like, you killing it. And I was like, this is great. My parents weren't even there. I was like, get right, y'all. Right, yeah. Yeah. Against Yim. Yeah, mm-hmm. 26, hey, 10, and my, 10. It's always the exact opposite for me. <laughs> you dribbling Tam, off Tam your knee and stuff. Here, man, I'm in that mug overthinking it. <laughs> <laughs> I walk out of there. They like, man, what happened to you? <laughs> Man, my wife, man, she can't be in man, here. Yeah, it's up, because man. of the athlete I was uh, when I played basketball correct, for those correct, four years. Correct. Trying to, you know, get yourself to the same standards. Oh of correct. my god! I understand. I correct. understand. <sighs> correct. Correct. Yeah. Good. I'm okay, great. Good. I had a great time. <laughs> Tabitha <laughs> Mondays Brown. Mondays with Tabin Chance. Put this out on a Friday. Whoever edited. Thank you. That'd nice, be Taylor. Thank you very much. Okay, Taylor. Very good. Uh, Taylor. All right. At the end of every, at the end of every episode, we ask our couples one question, and that is, what piece of advice would you give your younger married self? Oh, <sighs> hang in there. You're on the right path. Find. Be a little bit more patient and um, be a little bit more considerate and kind mm. in your actions, mm-hmm. not in your words. Mm. I thought um, if you said kind things, that was enough. But now I value kind gestures and actions a little differently. And I understand what that does for my wife. Yeah. So that's what I would say to myself. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, if you're asking me what I would say to Tab, it would probably be something different. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I, <clears throat> I think that I would say... Um, spend less time trying to get to know him and spend more time trying to get to know you. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's a theme for women so that I can just be a better woman Mm -hmm. who can be a better wife. Yeah. Amen. That's good. I love both of these answers. I love them both. I love both (laughs) of them. Answers and people. (laughs) We love y'all. Y'all did that. Y'all did that. (laughs) Y'all did that. Y'all did that. (laughs) 
It's so hilarious. Uh, but yeah. Great. Yes. Aww. Thank you guys so much, Tabitha <laughs> and Chance Brown, for joining us on today's episode of Marriage Be Hard Conversations. Please don't forget, where's my camera? Right here. Please don't forget that Marriage Be Hard, the book, is out September 13th, wherever books are sold. Yes, there is an audiobook, and it is narrated by myself and Kevin Fredericks. Mm -hmm. Please make sure that you support, make sure that you follow the Browns on all social media. Until the next episode. Bye. Peace.